Hong Kong was settled long before aircraft and air travel existed. Nestled comfortably between the South China Sea and the hilly terrain of the Chinese coastline, Hong Kong was already a densely populated area before airports were a foundational aspect of large urban centers. Before Hong Kong's current airport on Chek Lap Kok Island, there was Kai Tak. With its runway given the nickname Kai Tak Heart Attack, the airport was well known among pilots and passengers for its hair-raising approach. According to Atlas Obscura, Kai Tak was built in 1925 on reclaimed land in Kowloon Bay, opposite Hong Kong Island. Surrounding the airport were three elements less than ideal for aircraft landings – mountainous terrain, water, and eventually tall apartment buildings. First used as a flying club and a military airfield, but post-World War II it was converted to a base for national airline Cathay Pacific. As the city and its airline continued to grow in the post-war period, a new runway was built in 1958. Jutting out into Victoria Harbour, the Kai Tak Heart Attack, or Runway 1331, ensured that pilot skills remained sharp while testing the resolve of passengers looking out the window. Kai Tak was one of the last major airports in the world where you really had to rely on basic flying skills, stick and rudder, and we were all a bit sad when it closed. Captain Dave Newberry via Atlas Obscura. If an aircraft was cleared to land on the runway, it would have to do the following. 1. Begin its approach across the busy Victoria Harbour and the densely populated area of Kowloon. 2. Veer right upon seeing Checkerboard Hill, an orange and white painted marker above a park. This 47-degree turn would be at low altitude and at a speed of roughly 200 miles per hour, approximately 2 nautical miles from the runway. And 3 fly over apartment buildings and busy streets to finally touch down on the famous runway. Clearly, landing at Kai Tak was a test of pilot skills on the best of days. However, the true test of one's skills would take place during less than ideal weather conditions. I was flying into Kai Tak with my wife on the jump seat. The weather was pretty awful, and halfway through the turn on to finals, a vicious rainstorm came across the airfield and I totally lost sight of the runway. I had to execute a missed approach, which was quite hard work. Captain Dave Newbury. Receiving large passenger jets for decades, it's no surprise that the airport and its challenging location claimed a few aircraft over time. According to the Daily Mail, the airport suffered 12 air disasters during its time in operation, killing a total of 270 people. Close to its 1998 closure, the airport was handling nearly 30 million passengers per year. The deadliest single incident involved the US Marines Hercules flight. The aircraft plunged into the harbor shortly after takeoff in 1965. As a result, 59 passengers on board the aircraft were killed. Just two years later, 24 passengers were killed during a typhoon landing in 1967. Then in 1993, a Boeing 747 overran the runway. This was also during a typhoon. It's clear from our website's followers, some of whom were pilots, that Kai Tak had a special place in commercial aviation. While it was probably despised by several insurance companies, plane spotters and pilots alike would have immensely enjoyed this unique approach. The airport finally closed in 1998 and gave way to the Hong Kong International Airport on Chek Lap Kok that we are now familiar with today. Still, Kai Tak is a significant part of Hong Kong history and is well remembered through the stunning photos taken over the past decades. Did you ever fly into Kai Tak Airport? Share your experiences in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.